Welcome back to the channel everybody. Part two of our Saunton adventure on the West Course. Break par in association with ShotScope. We're going to take on the next six holes here. The scores on the doors as you will already have seen. Four hundred and twenty-three yards. Little dog leg round from left to right. I want to say little dog leg. I mean big dog leg. It's called the ditch because the ditch runs all the way up the fairway. Ah. He's gone for the hook at the bell. Sit. Sit. Oh. Bouncing Speaks backwards on it. Long down. way in, but that's that's still all right. I've got three. We're going to try good. and shape it the other way to Paolo. Oh, and that's how you do that. That's how you do that. That's why they call him Joe the Pro. What well, you got down, three wood? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Gorgeous. That. Is it carrying though? No, you've struck it, haven't you? I've struck it, but... Carry? It didn't see it at all. Is that why they call this hole the ditch? That's why it's called the ditch, everybody. Straight in it. Paul has... Tugged his tee shot a little bit, made it a little bit longer than he wanted. He's got one eight six. He's in a six iron. How's that? Happy Paul? Yeah, it might be a little bit short the pin, but should be on the right edge of the green. He's happy with that. He's happy. He's happy. It's a red, isn't it? Yeah. I don't, I don't know I don't if there's. Why you dropping like that though? I mean, well, what, what is you, it? You playing darts? <laughs> what is that? 180! Whoa, properly. There you go, there you go. I'm happy with golf with the new rules. Like, it's just got really hard and awkward, isn't it? Yeah. You've, you've made dropping look really tough, Dan. It's all kind of awkward. Hard. Here's Paul. 168, what's this wind doing? Slightly hurting, a off, little bit. Off the right, mostly. Off the right, slightly hurting. Oh. Right, so right. It's popped out right on him. I don't think that's going to be anywhere near the green. We'll have to see. Just bit right, but yeah, chip the putt. Better tee shot, 152. Slightly hurting off the right. I'm just going to solid eight iron and hope for the best. Started on the flag, just moving a little left now. Fully sit down. Good for club? Mm, just a little bit past it, back left of the green, not the end of the world. Joe and I just chatting in the buggy, talking about stresses and strains of golf and not playing enough competitive golf and they're not doing it very well from around yeah it's um it's quite a vicious circle isn't it you struggle when you don't when you don't play and then when you do play and you struggle you don't want to play anymore so you play a little bit less and you gotta you gotta beat it somehow haven't you and i am now flapping a little bit because i am uh, feels like i'm hemorrhaging shots left right and center at the moment um don't feel like i'm swinging it that bad either Anyway, steady the ship, and then um, see if we can uh, make a couple of birdies out here. Right, we've got uh, an incident here. We've got Sad Dan driving back to his previous position. Missed the green right here. There's some really juicy old stuff that we think it's plugged in. We couldn't see it, so he's having to go back and play another. In the meantime, we've got a much happier Hendrickson. Got to be the best part, 50 feet. Coming over a little hump where he's walking it's now. Annoying, this little hump I've ever put this here. You're landing on it or over it? It's sort of over it, really. Okay. Didn't land it enough. Just didn't carry it far enough, so it's taking a shoot off that down slope. But it's okay, he's got... Probably 10 feet for his par, not what he's hoping for. Is Dan playing his second ball now? Yeah, middle of the green, I reckon. Oh, give me middle of the green, it's just running off the left. And just what Dan needed, a bad break and rolling down the bank a bit. What sort of mood do we think Dan's going to be in coming back up? It's not going to be good, is it? It's not going to be good. And I'm, I'm worried about the journey home as well. So <laughs> yeah, I get to just leave him. This is the start of my comeback, this. This is it. 35 feet. I could be leading after this hole. Because uh, I don't know who's going to be. <laughs> I think we need to rename this Breaking Par. Things are moving about a bit. Right, this is about a cup outside the left. Hit a nice putt if it rolls out. Told you, start my comeback. Start my comeback. Oh my lord. Did I uh, miss anything? 
Yes, so um, as I was just saying, like Ricky Gervais in the office, I've got some good news and some bad news, Dan. Uh, you've missed the green and just rolled down this bank. That's the bad news, and you've obviously had a penalty drop and lost the ball. The good news is I've made a birdie. I've got this for a six, have I? Okay. Drop, for, drop for two, played three, lost ball, drop for four. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> Back to winter rules. Uh, now we've got to add another two shots. Mentally gone. <laughs> got to add another two I got shots. this for a double. Or... I'm just wondering what everyone wants for breakfast. One. <laughs> Hang on. One in the ditch. Drop for two. Played three. Look at this. Lost horrible, my ball. Horrible man. Drop for four. Played five. Got this for my six. Lovely touch that, Dan. Really good. That'd be a good seven, wouldn't it? Paul surveying his... What are you then, Joe? You're back to one over. Back to one, yeah. With a triple. Yeah, we're all right. Wow. I never really worry about the triples, because I average about six birdies around. So, yeah, so I feel I can always afford a couple of triples, yeah. so I just chill out a bit. Great oh, part. Really good part. So Paul Ooh. has definitely just gained a stroke there, or half a stroke on the field. That was pretty much bang on eight foot. I'd have said that 50% make run. Yeah, it probably was, yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad that dropped in because that could have been the final stroke. Still can't work out when the ball went. It's, bit, it's too late so, now, Dan, come on. So Dan's already had nine minutes and he's going back for another look. Tough break, mate. Right, loads of time to recover. Well, this is a, ba a brand new back tee for the eighth hole, 415 yards now. I don't remember this tee, it's a fantastic hole. Fortunately, the wind's helping us a bit. We've got 290 to those bunkers, that left hand one. Okay, so I don't need to worry about them. Joe's got three wood in hand. Slider. Overdone it. Overdone it. it Landed on, on top, on. Joe. Oh, on yeah, top of the mound. Sort of right? All going with driver. Yeah, that'll Fair do you. Yeah. Little crikey, little one. chasey one. That'll be perfect, won't it? A little squeezy number. Yeah, there's a little funnel there. Look, it's just found it now. I am one over par. What are you, one under? One under? I'm, I don't know what I am. Four? You could be anything between three under or four over. Yeah, I, could, I don't. I actually have lost the track now. The, the scoreboard will be up there for everyone to see. But right, reset. Over, right? No, it's more than that. It's got to be more than that. I've had a triple and a double. You'd be worth three under. Triple. Have I had a triple and a double? If you've had a triple and a double. Let's, let's worry about that after this shot, eh? Triple and a single, wouldn't it? You, didn't, you should have doubled it, but you didn't. Two singles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how many I have. Perfect. Just cutting up the right a little bit. That bush. Oh, it's on the bank. Gosh, do you see it? Bush, it? It went oh, I missed. Might have provisional, I think. You'll, you'll be unsurprised to know I missed the end of it. Did you bring a provisional with you? Yes, I did. You're more than welcome to use it. <laughs> well, it's lying well, Dan. Yeah, but it's just literally so far above me. I got 177 yards to the middle, pins 190 ish. I've got five iron. If I can get this to about 50 yards short of the green, then probably not a bad spot. Yeah, it's going to want to go left on him, so yeah, but just need to hold this off. It's not easy. How much speed do you reckon I lose with a stance like this? 47? Well, I think it's uh, six mile an hour, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 3%. <laughs> it depends on the temperature, really. Tell you what, it's right on line, bit knuckle, knuckle ball-y. Ooh. 176, I can hold that so it doesn't get wet. I can, yeah. What's uh, Joe using? What are you using? You're using the Pro ZR rangefinder as well, look. Yeah, I've, got an, I've had an abundance of rangefinders to test and I've really enjoyed that one, so that's stayed in the bag. Yeah. Time, yeah. It's good. Club and yardage. 176 and I'm smashing an eight iron. There's a bit of helping wind. Yeah. I just don't want a seven zooming over the back. So I'm going to go left of the pin. I'm gonna have to leave myself a long putt and smash it on there somewhere. That's, I think that's bunker. really good. No, I'll put it in your bunker, it's come out soft. Stop. Oh, you want it short that trap or in it? I'd prefer short if I'm honest. Really? A bit funny these links bunkers, aren't they? One, two, three for Paul. The little picture is just downwind, so. You got a little ridge just in front of that pin. Oh, a little thin. <laughs> you're a, you're a <laughs> 
over the back. Oh my word. What was that, a little chip and chase for the four, did you say? <laughs> I'd, I'd have gone with some sort of wedge from that yard either. But there you go. Hitch to your own. I think this is the toughest green on the golf course for me. It's kind of shaped from, well, front left to back right, and it's, so it's very narrow. Um, and Joe's got to go, he's got a decent lie, which is good, but he's got to go up and over this trap, which he didn't want to be in. Mm. And now he's landing on a down slope. Questioning that choice now, I think the trap might have been better given a good lie. It's just got, like, it's just high tariff. It's doable with a real nippy close yeah. one, but... For most, for most golfers, what would you be telling them to do? Depending on your skill level, left's a real option, isn't it? Just yeah. make sure you get it on and two part and make your five. Yeah. But I think with the right sort of connection, there is a nippy one that can just check up in time, but yeah. high tariff. I just think a lot of you should be, a lot of players should be coming out here, taking your five, don't make a bad choice after a bad position left. However, if you've got the skill set of Joe LePro, that's as nippy as you could do, really, wasn't it? Nippy, wasn't it? Back, Even right. with those PXG wedges, you couldn't yeah, nip it enough. Full faces, very yeah. nice. Right, so Dan's just found the little pot bunker short right. How's the lie? It's all right. I just, um, not bad. Not bad. I just don't feel like I'm going to get much spin out of this. Lie. Same set of issues that I had. This is his first shot out of the bunker with his new wedge. Just slightly right of flag and let it release forward if I can. He's played that very well. well. How do I leave it short, Joe? You've played that extraordinarily well, yeah. I don't really need... chase on that downslope, you know. You'd do well to leave it short again from there, wouldn't you? An unhappy Paul Hendrickson over the back of the green. Awful lie. No lie, got nothing. It's my ball, all right? I don't think you're all right. Okay. We're in trouble. So he's not holding out much hope here, but I'm sure he's got something in the bag. Oh, of course he has. Look at this guy. Great touch mate, it's running on a bit, so he's looking at probably 10-11 feet for his par. What you got Paul? Um, about 15 feet up the hill, fraction okay. off the right I'm going to give it. Come on then. Hold it. I thought it was going to sneak in that left side there, like of which it didn't. So if you get one of those putts that should be left to right, I mean you know if you start at left edge it's not going to do anything, but you also know if you start it straight, it it's going to miss right. That's what I feel like is going to happen here. So you got it's one of those unholdable putts. You got yeah. it. Bubble, okay. bubble, bubble. Didn't bubble. So yours went that way, and then just yeah. Well, I did pull didn't mine. Do what you think. Ah. Uh, disappointing to give that straight back. Do you remember what score you are now? No, I've actually I, I prefer not to know. Right. If I'm honest. I think you too. Okay. Well, the viewers might want to know. Viewers know. Everyone at home knows. Everyone knows. Went that way. Went that way. Oh dear. It's a whole load of fives. As, as Paul's gone right to left, from a similar angle, yours has gone left to right. I think Paul's is pretty straight. Unholdable. Unholdable. The ninth <laughs> hole has arrived. 147. We've got 147 of the flag, 152 off the back plate. That pin is at the back, back right corner. Oh, laser. On it. Laser. Sit, sit. Oh, it did, it heard you. That's why you gotta to talk to him. Bit of down the breeze. What you got, wedge Joe? No, or I'm 10, smooth. 11, 12? What you got? I'm going smooth nine, mate. Smooth nine. Slightly right of the stick, but trying to move back. Oh, nicely done, nicely controlled. Like that. Back a bit, isn't it? Hold that's, it the, that's the key in it. Get it to get it to move towards the hole when it's landed on the green. That's the skill. That's the skill. Okay, I got nine. Is that just because everyone else has used nine? Or well, what? <laughs> I was gonna admit, I, What does it say on the back of your club for nine? One three eight. Okay. And so you've got to find another nine yards. I got to find nine. Where are you getting those well, from? I think my nine, my nine <laughs> yards are coming from the air. So okay. From the wind. Everyone else said no. <laughs> I did it, no. Did you? I fancy just a really nice, no, I like it, Dan. Oh, uh, no, no, let's but talk, yeah. If you're going to have a feather one. in an eight, that you're playing with yeah. it. Just, just a like good, that's, solid. That, that's taking back of the green out of play, yeah. so that's, that's a good, safe. I think there's five yards of win there, so I think you're going to be 140. Good, safe move, that. Oh, 
Go with Smith. Gotta go. <laughs> go, go. There you go. There we are. Sorry for the shaking, I'm laughing. <laughs> Look at that. Back, baby. <laughs> you got that surrounded, lads. Where's the old divot box? <laughs> Just wandering out because we all walked up without the camera. Little halfway hut, which is kind of right in between the two courses. Doing a lot of clearing out the back there. Um, I don't fully understand. Pardon? They do breakfast. I think they do do breakfast. I'm Paul. going straight. Paul's unhappy with the pace of play, which is <laughs> ironic. Go on, man. Go on, Go on man. Go on, man. Go on, man. Tracking. <coughs> Learn anything from that, Joe? I did, yeah. I'll go back the same, I think. I've got a little bit right to left early, then it straightens up. So you've just got to get match the pace with your start line, haven't you? Go, go. Quite got it on well, point. Good pace. Get away. Really like to get one back here. Yeah? See a lot in that, maybe. Yeah. Smidge? I want to say a smidge. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Please go. Well that's oh, oh. it's gone back. <laughs> it's gone backwards. <laughs> oh that's insane. Oh, dude. Anyway. Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> uh, oof. Par five, Joe. Yes. Time to make up some ground. Certainly need to get at least one back, don't five, we? Five, seven, three, par five. A good little stretch. Two par fives in the next three holes, haven't you? So what is it to carry those traps? Two, four, three, which Paul's worried about. A little bit. left. It's not a little. Yeah, it's just alright. Alright, I didn't see that. It's left semi, yeah. It's one of those, isn't it? Just into a bit of wind here, that bunker is uh, there. In your eye line. It just. Picking you think. It should be alright, but if it stalls, it's not going to be alright, so I'll maybe go left of it. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Where's that? Right yeah. It's absolutely fine there, good shot. You uh, were two over. You calculated there, Joe, for that. I mean, this is hard work, yeah. So I'm 37, I'm two over. Dan is, did we say two or three? Three. 38. Paul, just tell me. I think level. Level. But I'm losing track here. Straight at that trap. Straight at the 243 trap. And? Straight in it. Got to be careful of that two, four, three trap, Dan. Just killing me at the moment. Killing me. Why is he cheering? Well, golfing gods. He's cheering me. because it's G U R. The golfing what gods. Literally. Are with me. We used to have this stuff when we were growing up, like just you one, the bunkers you hit it in with G U R. The ones I hit it in were plugged and still in play. It's the only blue stake bunker on the golf course. I'm going from that point in the line, aren't I? Yeah, no nearer the hole. Closest point. No nearer the hole. Is it dog legs right? Hang on, let me go. Over there, the green. Yeah, Over here somewhere. No and the nearer. Good, good thing about this is we get to see Dan's no dropping uh, drop skills again and his technique. What are you thinking? Inside, inside that line? Are you thinking of uh, bending your leg, keep your legs straight? Yeah, but I don't know if I'm level. But are you you get your arms dead straight? Divots, you don't want to you don't want to put a bit of flex in your arm. Crying for me. No, it's not bad. That's pretty good, yeah. That is not bad, is it? it to be fair, it's placing there. Two fifty four. Oh yeah, it is. I keep forgetting about yeah. that. Hitting driving. Five four. We got to the middle. I can't get there with three wood, but driver, get your head then. I know, but it's just that mound in front of me is my issue. Very good. I've got and a just slightly more. right side of the green, maybe at that trap. Just 50 yards short. Oh, is it? Really? Is it? So it is. Has he done that? I don't know how you go from a bunker where you're completely dead to almost going on the green. Three wood out of the bunda. Yeah, not a, not a great driver. It was alright, just pulled it, trying to cut it, pulled it. Got a like it sat well. It's on like a, a, the edge of a... But then yeah, I've got a dip behind it and then a, like a raised thing here, so I've kind of got a... 
don't happy know. with the club? Just awkward. What's that? Happy with the club in hand, three wood? I probably shouldn't, but I wish Shot scope tells me 261 middle. Yeah, that pins at the front though, red flag. Oh, yes, Joe. Hold there. Come out the neck. That could be it. bunkery. It should be short. Nah, it should be short. Yeah, you're right, right, it is. Pitching into the wind, should be right. Good hit, go out of that. Club? 237, three wood. Into, into a bit of breeze, so it's. I'm not sure I can quite get there, but I'll try and get it as close as I can. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. A bit of divot went in people's lounge there. Steady, steady. Look at you! Of course it comes off. Of course it does. Off the knuckle. Off the knuckle back to about 20 foot. They put that knuckle there for a reason. Joe Lepro, he's got himself a little nestled one. It's not nestled so much. It's a bit cuppy again, but it's just... The time of year, isn't it? You get the old worm cast. I've got that little patch of mud behind it. You've got a couple of options here, really. Obviously, you can go nippy and straight at it, which I would suggest is the way to play it. Make sure you land it by the flag, except that it's going to release past the cup. Leave yourself kind of almost like between the flag and where Paul's ball is. If you try and bail out left, you've not got a little bit. You've only got a little bit of play there. Yeah, because you've got the trap. Try and get the strike and pinch it. Yeah, I would. Yeah, please with that. Yeah, that's it. That just yeah. released a little bit. That's a really good shot. Perfect. That. Make sure you throw it all the way. Get rid of this bunker. Putting? You thinking putting? Put that, can I? It's an option. Can pretty much put any club on it, really. Do what you want from here, yeah. I'm going to go with a putter. Summer greens, please. Summer, summer, summer. It actually did really well to get there, didn't it? Yeah. Big ass that with the puffer, wasn't it? The fog is just a sea mist, let's call it. It's kind of eerie, isn't it? It's gone nice. a bit eerie, yeah. Can you see that in the in the background there, behind Joe there? Just see that? That's Saunton Sands Hotel. Speaking of eerie, here's Paul. Yo. What are you seeing? Fraction off the right, mostly at the start, and then it should just sort of straighten out. All downhill. Break. Good part, mate. Yeah, not bad. It, I felt like you read a lot into that, yeah, but take it, take it away, sir. I mean, this would be a good birdie, Dan. Be a good two part, wouldn't it? Oh. This guy just can't catch a break. Oh. This guy. Can't nearly went then. Ooh. Cannot catch can't a break. Can't went. <laughs> Come on then, pro. Again, yeah, not loads. Maybe left half. Just tickle it down the hill. Yeah, bit of a smidge. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Well read. Well read. Very good. The 11th oh. hole is 212 yards off this back oh, tee. I'm not worried about going along with it. Shot scope yeah. telling me we've got 210 middle. One nine three to get onto that front edge. Joe, the pro's got three iron. Keep some spin off it. Yes. Cut ever. It's got yeah. steep wafts today. Yeah. Look at that divot. Paul. Oof. Right. Need to shallow this out a bit. What you got? Two iron, Paul. It's like a, no, it's a three iron thing that I found in the cupboard the other day. <laughs> That's what they are all called, isn't it? Just things, because you don't they're not actually anything it's, written on the bottom of them is not what they to are. It's like an iron, but it's not, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's a gapper, isn't it? Gapper. It's a gapper. Yeah, well, if you hit it like that all the time, it's not a problem, is it? Sit down. Three wood. It's certainly it's certainly involving a head cover. What's the, long, what's the longest iron you've got these days? Four, uh, uh, 188. What's that? Four iron. And then what's, your, what's that? Club, how far does that one go? Uh, it does uh, lots of things, this one. There's a big old gap there, Dan, isn't there? What's no, that, like not. a 30-yard gap? No, not really, because I can chop this thing up. I can do anything with it, really. Yeah. I see it, then. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can play this. Let's see this. A nice one. The thing with this club is it goes wrong <laughs> when when you when you start talking to it. Just let it do its thing. Yeah. Talk just about put it on. Else. Calm just, it down. Just put it on autopilot. If, you want. I, I if I get involved, it goes wrong. Oh, doing its thing. Just let it go. Twenty-five foot left of the stick. 
Doing its thing. Yeah, very Just let it do its thing. Don't very talk to lad. it. Just stop talking to my five wood. All right. Leave it's it a shame alone. they don't do a whole set of those, isn't it? You could. I keep saying this. I need a whole bag full of them. Joe, could you set up a whole bag of these if we I can, ordered them up? Look into it. Yeah. Could we do that? Le Pro, left edge of the green, going with a club. 60, it's all I've got. Again, there's so many of these little humps and hollows in the way here when you miss the green, isn't there? There is. Another shoulder, so I've got either got to bundle it through that or carry it, but I think into the wind I can afford to try and carry that slope. Right strike. The right strike and nip it up, yeah. So yeah. It's actually a little bit of an upslope there if he gets it right. You can kill it into. Ah. Just hit the downslope, but that's not but, bad. Yeah, because it was slightly short. It's the worst. Yeah. Okay, not that's great, right. but. Holdable. Paul and I back left corner of the green or kind of middle left. Got this little ridge just here that runs like a little spine that runs through the green. I think all the par threes around here, if you can just get, get on the greens, take your two putts, run away. There's that slope. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Still going. Oh, I thought that was, did you see it jump a bit? Yeah. I thought it sort of popped and then came out with a bit of top spin. Started right. It has gone a lot. So Dan with a very similar proposition. What's he learnt? It scared him a bit. It's doing alright Dan. You got scared. That happens so often when you're in a similar place to your playing partner and you see something you don't want to see. That was a pure reaction was it not Dan? How hard to hit it in the end. Seems to have left yourself a lot of these oh. eight to ten foot putts today, whether they've yeah. been for birdie or par, but you've been hosing them up. Just Again. went on him. Just went on him. Leader, aye, leader aye, takes aye, a step aye, back. Aye, aye. Come back once again. What am I doing today? <laughs> what am I doing? Jeez. Very good. Good up down. Well done. Thank you. Great skill to have that. Being able to putt. Oh, three putt to end part two. Oh no. Is that the 11th or 12th? 11th. We've 11th. still got one more. <laughs> Another back tee that I've never actually seen. 551 par five. Over two. Big bunkers down there in the little dune. Joe, your driver. 55 to carry a lot of them. Oh no, I'm going left. Good swing, that Joe. Hold on there. Just down a bit. Hold on. Not sure about that one. Not sure what's over there. It bounced. I saw it bounce, but I don't know how far up it is. Good hit though. Oof. Yeah, you keep having them practice swings, Paul. We're running out of daylight. Yeah, don't worry about the time, mate. <laughs> yeah, oh, a little little grunt with it. Another five yards. Perfect. Oh, easy, easy. But I need something to happen here. Though. I need something big to happen. Mate. I actually don't know why why Hello golfers world. don't grunt like the tennis players do, don't they? And it's it's more of a sign of putting effort in, you know. Oh, that's down in. Geo territory. Yeah, I'm on that exact line, but just the ditch that Joe refused to believe was there. Have you no. got yours all right? I'm nowhere near it. You're, You're nowhere near it. You're over it, aren't you? You'll see in a minute. I'm nowhere near it. What are you thinking, Dan? I got three with. Two. I got three. 280. 280. Um, just sneak it on from here, do you think? No, I'm just trying to get it up as far as I can, but I've got outbounds down the left from this line, Oof. which is not ideal. Say, yeah, it's greens over here somewhere, so. Yeah, oh, right, I'm not even yeah, going to try and follow that, but... No, it's just 20 yards it's, right of the green. Yeah, just safe. Safe-ish. Yeah, over, over bunker next shot, but I'll yeah. take it. Yeah. Joe has located his ball. What did you have? 260, 280 something? Yeah, what you got? 230. 245 two, four, five middle. Okay. Pins at the front though. When it's your day, Joe, it's your day, you know? Delighted. Come on, let's get both of you under par for the break pass series, shall we? Bull rushes normally eat golf balls for breakfast. Just short right with you that Dan, that's fine. We can up and down it from there. Back over in the real world of golf. <laughs> 240 pin. 240 pin. I'm going to hit a uh, forward. Oh no. Turn over or not? No. It's 
bounced a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, kind of yeah. pin eye, I reckon. It. Hit it well. Struck it well, just a bit lacking uh, accuracy there. Joe and Dan, adjacently placed. Who's first, Joe? No, Dan, first. Dan. I'm going to go, yeah, I like Is that you? King T. Thank you, mate. What you got there, then? A little scrubber, isn't it? It's a worse on the end, but it's out of water at the moment. Oh. Look at that, hey? you've got all the gear, haven't you? We name you Clobber. So you're the guinea pig for this shot, Dan. I'm gonna get jo Joe's suggested I go lower, he's gonna go higher. Just simply right. because you've got a tighter lie there and a slight downslope, and I've got a, a lusher line and a nice upslope. You're just placing, yeah? I've done that. Yeah, but it's okay. still quite. Yeah. You know. Right. Yeah, is it? It's just fractionally heavy, wasn't it? No, it's, oh, it's right. Trying to work out who was playing enough. the shot then. I've got it. <laughs> it sounded a little heavy to me, I'll be honest. Right, come on then, pro, you show us how to do it. Nibble. Nibble! Yeah, just again, I reacted to Dan's shot there. <sighs> he talked himself out of it in the end. I don't know why he's worried about my shot. It's nothing to do with him, is it? it nothing to do with you. <laughs> Putt on the last had nothing to do with Paul's putt, but you came up six foot short. <laughs> it's reactions, you see things. Yeah, I had a real. 50 or a 60. All right, it was a slightly Ooh. different shot. Leave me alone. <laughs> He's gone. I thought I was gone. He's gone. Anyone knows a good psychologist to help these two out? Be much appreciated. Best of luck to him as well. <laughs> Paul's just taking a little bit of relief from that water. Well, it's actually casual water because I have never seen water there. Not, never once. And I was assistant pro here for about a year. It just never holds water, does it? It's sand, it just goes straight through. So that just shows you how much rain we've had. But how impressive is it that... Oh yeah, not, not an issue, is it? Look. Still rolling on the fairways, not a speck of mud on anything. It's 52 degree wedge for Paul. Flick it over the ball rush, into the slope, up to the flag. There you go. Oh, it's taking a right bounce. That's a dreadful bounce. Unlucky. Bit unfortunate there. Dreadful bounce, wasn't it? What are we seeing, bro? We're seeing not a lot in terms of left to right. I just went to the side there. That's something that people should do more, I think. Go to the side of that putt so you can see yeah. how far up or down you are, because that's quite a severe downs. You can't really see it from here. When you go to the side, this ball is quite a bit above that hole, so it gives you a better idea. But yeah, so it's back pace. I'm going to go relatively straight. I'll just try and pick the right pace. Tracking. And left a bit. Ooh. Great effort that. It did try, didn't it? Yeah, I mean I blocked it. I was trying to start it straight, but I was just praying I'd misread it. One of those. I think, is that not inside Paul's marker? We'll see in a minute, won't we? Okay. I'm saying I didn't like me. Oh, I was gonna pick it up then for the pace of play. Low. Always low. Pick him up, mate. Yeah, take that one away. <laughs> Are you measuring Joe's or are we not measuring it? You're not even measuring it. Not even close. Not even close. Even close. Look at him. Oh yeah, miles away. Uh, Absolutely miles away. Miles, Joe. Joe. You got a coin by any chance, Joe? I mean, you're a professional golfer. If I, if I hit that, Can I have a coin, Paul? I'll give it you straight back. It's on camera. Well. Thank you. Go on then. I'm not going to hit that, Joe. If I hit that, I deserve like... Oh. Hit it, hit it! Oof. I've never used the line, I'm going to give it a whirl. Are you? Never ever. If occasionally I've gone for a battle of drawing a big thick one, I never you just use the logo. Alright, this is new. It should be dead straight, so I'll just trust it. Do it. Look at that. Very good. Very nice. Nice way to finish part two, wasn't it? Lovely. Well done. Very good. There we go. Good way to end it. Lovely.